Web Service Interactions Using JMS. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through a bit of a, an example of a process. And in this example scenario, we have a Beeple process that sits between a front-end client that communicates on JBoss MQ using SOAP messaging and the process coordinates interactions with a back-end host system that communicates over IBM MQ series using a custom plain XML API. So it'll send and receive XML documents that aren't necessarily SOAP do documents, and in fact they aren't. And just to demonstrate that we have multiple providers, we're going to be listening for requests on JMS transports, so we're going to pick up messages on JBoss MQ. We're going to send replies on JBoss MQ using destinations that are specified within WS addressing headers. That's when we're talking to via SOAP on JBoss MQ. When we invoke the host system, what we, we need to do there is we're not going to be sending SOAP messages, so we're going to be sending plain XML requests, receiving plain XML responses, and also we need to set some additional message properties as part of the JMS message header. So if all we needed to do was simply listen for a message and then reply for the message, there the messaging configuration that you would use could simply be let me just jump into the messaging service, have one transport mess manager, flag it as the default, have at least one listener on it using our standard JMS Beeple listener that will dispatch messages to the engine. And as long as we can connect and obtain the connection factory and also look up the destination to bind the listener, then you're good to go. But there's a lot more scenarios that can be handled and in that case like oh but I have another messaging provider I also need to talk to I have to talk to JBoss and MQ so in that case we come in here and we create this host integration MQ and I've found some destinations using the file based JND context provided by the um, MQ, IBM MQ series and in this case I, I chose M IBM MQ series because we have a template for that and there's a number of options that are necessary. So I have already set up my Jindy directory with the file context. And I have in MQ series a queue called ABE receive queue. And in this, for the demonstration, I created a demo host system that's actually listening on that queue. So you can bind it there. But since I'm not providing any service routing information as either a SOAP header or as a JMS message property, I'm going to just invoke the host report service. And the host report service, I believe I have here, yes, received this message on MQ series. And you can see that we have on the my role endpoint, it indicates how this message, that we received a message, and also Underneath headers for the get re location report operation, we have a number of properties that came from the MQ series message. You can tell it's MQ stir, etc. So just receiving a plain XML document that was placed on an MQ series queue, we can handle that just by through that messaging configuration. There's nothing in this process that needed to change that would be different as in this process could also service SOAP HTTP requests and requests from MQ series and it really doesn't know the difference because the process the transport will just deliver the expected XML and at this point it, it's um, fairly transparent to at this point the um, other thing we're doing here so that would just be standard you know if you're familiar with the product just you know we received a request we're going to 
create a response. I mean, you know, this is a demo, so there's, you know, not a whole lot we're doing in creating the response. There'd normally be other activities involved. <laughs> but just for the sake of demonstration, we're going to get the request survey. We're going to create a response. It just has the um, process ID that we're going to shoot back to the caller so he'll be able to look us up later or send additional messages that we would want to associate with a particular instance. And if we look over at Hermes here, which is a JMS client, just so that I can browse these queues, I'm going to take a look at one of these in here we just sent back. This is the uh, process ID that got sent back and just showing, okay, this is on the JBoss destination and by default, you know, since we haven't, the message we received was formatted as a SOAP envelope, the service will reply in kind, which means if we receive SOAP, we're going to reply with SOAP. If we receive a bytes message, we're going to reply with a bytes message. The sender really drives how the response is formatted and handled. So if you need to have more of a split operation where we're going to get plain XML in on a, on a request response operation and you need to send just plain text back, then you would need to do it as an invoke on another instance, but that's neither here nor there for, the, for this. The um, other thing that we're doing in here is, is we have, now we're going to query the host system. and. In this case, we're going to use a dynamic assignment to a partner link because we want to override the JMS correlation ID so that it matches the process ID. Now, of course, you could set that to pretty much anything you want once you have the um, message and the information you need. But in this case, we're going to use the expression get process ID and we're going to map into this JMS plain XML policy, I'm going to set the correlation ID to the process ID, and that JMS plain XML policy element, let me just come over to the uh, instance. There's my instance. What that looks like would be an element in the active endpoints policy namespace with attributes for the correlation ID that was set in that assigned statement. Also set, when I initialize this, I'm, I know that I want to send it to the host integration MQ as the manager ID that identifies that I'm going to use the MQ configuration. The format of the message is going to be plain XML. The other option here could be SOAP. The message type is going to be it's a text message, which is the default, so I didn't necessarily have to specify that, but I was going through the, all of these options. So come in here, and then when we invoke, we get the location report, and we shoot that over MQ series, and then get the response, la -dee da and then I'm just sending back the results as a callback to the JBoss queue, so formatted as SOAP, that would be this message down here. This is what came back from our demo host system that communicates over MQ series, and in this case we formatted it as a SOAP envelope because that's the transport options that we use when we're invoking the partner link for JBoss. The, um, we set some MQ delivery options, again, to use plain XML, so we'll just come over to the MQ series reply queue, and it's the same survey, however, missing the SOAP envelope because we want to do just plain XML, and that's on the um, MQ series queue. Actually, this last one is the one I sent. And that concludes our walkthrough of JMS Transport.